Today I'm going hardcore pescivore with hot smoked salmon. Hey, it's Jess with Hardcore Carnivore and today I'm doing something a little different because you guys are used to seeing me do meat recipes and today we're doing fish. Technically it's fish meat, you know what I mean, but it's delicious and it's hot smoked salmon which is a little different to the smoked salmon you usually have on your bagels. Uh, that's a cold smoked salmon so this has a totally different texture but it's one of my favorite ways to eat it. So this recipe is very simple and it really does rely on using excellent quality ingredients to have a really great outcome. Today I'm going to be using sockeye salmon from Bristol Bay in Alaska. There are some really long and kind of complicated recipes for hot smoked salmon. This is a simple one and it's ready in just under two hours. Here's how to make it. I'm starting with a lovely piece of salmon and this one is about two pounds. Here are the ingredients for the brine. Half a cup of kosher salt, one cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, half a cup of water, and now my secret ingredient, a half cup of gin. Now listen, if you're not a gin fan, I promise you can't really taste it. It just lends some of those botanicals to the ingredients. But if you really can't stand the idea of using gin, you can use vodka instead. Mix all of the brine ingredients, then throw them in a Ziploc bag along with the salmon. Give it a bit of a massage and then get it into the fridge for two hours. After two hours, remove the salmon from the brine, pat it dry with a paper towel. Okay, so here's where a lot of people will tell you you have to put the salmon in the fridge overnight, uncovered for 24 hours to form a pellicle. And a pellicle is like a skin that forms on the surface and that skin is meant to adhere the smoke better during cooking. Now, I don't do that. I really do think that this version is quick, it's easy, you get great smoke flavor, it's still in the smoke for two whole hours to cook, and you save a whole lot of time. Place the salmon on a tray or rack for easy removal, and then put it into a 200 degree smoker for about one and a half to two hours. After an hour and a half, brush the salmon with good quality maple syrup, which is going to give it a beautiful shine, and then smoke it until it reaches 140 degrees internal temperature, or until you can easily flake the meat away with your fingers. And there you have it. Gorgeous, gin brined, maple glazed, hot smoked Bristol Bay sockeye salmon with all the fixins. Okay, let me know what you think of this recipe in the comments. Leave me a like, let me know you're out there. I'll see you next time, carnivores.